welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is porcelain and this is porcelain's world so today y'all we are back with another video and in today's video we are going to be doing my budget with me for paycheck number two for the month of june so if you are interested then just stay tuned all right you guys so hey how are you guys doing um i'm doing well um i'm extremely tired because disney kicked my behind with that heat okay so i have been out of the loop this whole time back um and this week i'll be doing overtime so it's kind of getting to me now because i'm getting a little bit you know how I should say, I'm, I'm just tired. I'm just really tired, I'm exhausted. So, but yeah, I have like one more day of overtime, which I think I might do one more, but it just depends. So, anywho, let me start blabbering. So in today's video, we are gonna be doing the budget with me for my second paycheck in June. And uh, I do utilize the budget by paycheck from the budget mom. And let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the month of June. And let's find a blank sheet. All right. And before we get started, my drink for today is going to be coffee. Like I said, I'm exhausted. I got a meeting um, later on today. And then I just have to go pick up the kids and things like that. So coffee is needed. <sighs> Amazing. All right. So let's go ahead and start off with the budget. So for my paycheck, um, this week, or these two weeks for the upcoming one, oh, paycheck is going to be 624, um, 2022. And we're actually going to budget for $1,906. Now my actual will be $1,906 because um, I already saw my paycheck. So I'm gonna put down here $1,906. Depending if I get child support or not, I'll add it in there. If I don't, then we just gonna budget for the $1,906. All right, you guys. So there has been so much happening in my life, but I have to do like a, I have to do like an update. Um, with you guys as well so but let's just get into the budget because that's what we're here for so we're going to start off with our bills so we have electric i don't know the date of this um but i am budgeting for 175 then we have our water bill um i don't know the date of this but i am budgeting for 50 and then we have discover which is my credit card um, and that is getting 150 and then we have my cell phone which is getting a whopping $200 and we have summer camp fees so summer camp is getting $316 and that will pay for two weeks um, for the kids. So this week and next week has already been paid. So this is gonna be technically for July, the first and second week of July. So I'm gonna put July, 7, uh, July 1st, but whatever, it's for July. So let's go ahead and add this up. Actually, before we go ahead and calculate this, I'm missing something. So um, we are actually going to be adding rent, which right now rent is getting $274 right now. So now let's go ahead and add everything up. Okay, so that equals $1,165. minus the 1906 which gives us 741 dollars left so now 741 so for this we're actually doing gas and gas you guys i'm budgeting for 100 gas has gone up so high like extremely high that 
yeah, a hundred dollars is gonna have to do me. Um, the next thing we're going to do is food. So food is getting one fifty. So that's gonna be two hundred and fifty dollars. So seven forty one minus two fifty gives us four hundred and ninety one dollars left. Now we're gonna do the extra date, which is my extra car payment of 150, so that would be 150. So we're gonna minus the 150. Uh, so we have $341 left. Now, um, we are going to go ahead and input our sinking funds that we want to go ahead and pay for this month and Let's go ahead and write that. So just listen to the music while I go ahead and write this out. All right, you guys. So I have written out all of my sinking funds that we are going to stuff. So let's go ahead and do this. Now my do the needful challenge, I'm gonna set aside 60 because I haven't done May's and um, June is about to come up. So I'm gonna do May and then after that, I'll do June and July. So we're gonna do 60. I don't know if that's exactly what I need, but I'm just gonna put 60. Um, now for cushion money, I'm gonna go ahead and minus 20. So that's gonna get 20. Car maintenance is gonna get 20. My B-Day is actually going to get I would say 40. Self-care is going to get 25. And then my spending money, because actually you guys, my birthday is coming up in a couple of days. Um, so I took off for my birthday, but I don't know exactly what I want to do because I still have a gift card, um, to, to J. Alexander's or whatnot that I can use to actually go out and like just enjoy myself. I think I actually wanna to go to the movies for my birthday. I want a very chill day. I just want a day where I'm chilling. I just wanna go out to eat, do stuff that I like to do. I may even get my toes done, depending, cause I haven't got my toes done in a minute. And I may just actually go get a professional pedicure excuse me, professional pedicure, then go ahead and go to a movie and then take myself out to lunch before I have to go get the kids from summer camp. So for spending, I'm thinking I should do around, let's do 80. Actually, let's do $100 for spending because that's gonna be for my birthday. Um, day. I'm probably not even going to spend all that, but it just depends. So, and girl, I can finally get these eyebrows done. Lord have mercy, I've been trying to get these eyebrows done. Okay, so anywho, so spend is going to get $100. So let's go ahead and put this $341 up here. Oh, not $341. I do apologize. We're not going to put that up there. We're going to put that $491. So be $491. All right, so just listen to the music while I just go ahead and subtract all this and we'll see what our ending balance is gonna be. All right, you guys, so here it is. Um, this is my budget for this month. So we have in total $1,165 in bills. Then for our cash envelopes, we just have gas and food um, this time, and that equals up to 250. And then for our sinking funds, it equals up to 265. And then for our extra payment or our extra debt payment was 150. So we actually have a positive balance of $76 left over this month, which is fantastic. Um, so yeah, um, that is it for my budget with me. all right you guys thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it please comment like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one bye